This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-250 crew cab. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat FX4. Um, it's being sold with uh, 20,000 actual miles. Um, it is on a salvage title due to theft. We purchased it directly from an insurance company uh, out of uh, McAllen, Texas. It uh, has some uh, cosmetic issues, nothing major, but here and there and here and there, and uh, that's about it. Uh, mechanically, it's very sound. Um, it appears to have had some paint work done on the driver door, um, and it's got a bunch of dings on the roof. I don't know if someone sat on the roof or whatever, but I don't even think Shaquille O'Neal could see the roof from here, so... I don't know if that's really a concern to you or not. And it's got some nicks and dings. It's definitely uh, got some uh, stories to tell. Uh, it also has a uh, six inch uh, lift that has uh, Donahoe suspension. Really wouldn't be that hard to put this thing back into perfect, uh, perfect uh, cosmetic order if you wanted to. But it's a pretty good looking truck now. You know, it just kind of depends on what you want. But one thing that'll never change are the miles. There are your wheels. A couple of the wheels are showing a little bit of pitting. The driver wheel looks pretty good. The driver front tire looks like it's about, I don't know, 30 or 40 percent tread. Donahoe Racing Signature Series. Got a bunch of little nicks and that a little touch up paint would probably be good. The hood looks pretty good. I did notice there's a bunch of little dings on top of the fenders. At least on top of that fender. I see one right here on the passenger fender. There's a dent right here on this passenger fender. This is the wheel that's the most pitted. Not sure. Comes from Texas. Pretty dry area in Texas, so I'm not really sure. And of course, maybe they stole the wheels and put them on here too. I don't know. But uh, there's your passenger front tire. Again, your Donahoe suspension. Passenger front door looks good. Passenger rear door looks good. I mean, there's a couple little chips here and there, but bedside, passenger bedside, there's a dent here. I don't know if you call it a dent more than a ding, really. I see one up here. The rear wheel doesn't look as pitted as the, actually, it doesn't, and a little bit right here. All the tires look like they're about 20 or 30 percent tread. It's a good looking truck, but if you're OCD about clean and perfect, uh, you're probably going to have to spend 1500 bucks to make it that way. If you just want a decent looking truck that uh, runs good and has low miles, then this is fine. A bunch of little nicks on the tailgate. Stuff like this. You have a brand new spare. Let's see. Here's your lift. Let's see. And the driver's side. There's a little touched up ding here that's been touched up right, right there. I don't know if you can see that too well. I'll try to get a good angle so you can see what you're buying here. There's a little thing right here. Got a lot of eight tents flying over us today. That's the driver rear tire. Probably the lowest tread, probably about 20%. Which obviously is the 
most likely tire to be low, obviously. Here's the uh, driver door. Looks like it's been painted to us. I mean, it's really hard to tell, but in our opinion, it has been. So I would just say it has been and call it a day. Fire this guy up so we can listen to it under the hood. We've been getting a lot of uh, requests for the truck running uh, underneath the hood. Ford emblem. There's the Ford emblem there. Stamps are where they belong. There's a Ford emblem there. Here's the roof. Let's see if these things are not. Looks like somebody just maybe stood on the roof or something. There's a couple over there. No scrapes or tree stuff. It don't look like they went under a tree or anything. It looks like somebody. <laughs> looks like somebody stood up here. They walked around. It's not, it's not really that bad, but we have to make sure that you know what you're buying so that we don't get screamed at by somebody who feels like they've been wrong. There's a little scratch here in the wood grain. I like to make these videos about three hours long so I can have you live with the vehicle before you buy it, but we have to keep it under 15 minutes. They stole the uh, the light bulbs and the lens cover, which is very, very normal. We like to turn the lights off in here, so we probably replaced that, but we didn't do that one. You can get uh, you can get that stuff for like 20 bucks if you want. Them. Carpet, let's see. Our seat, up in the back, heated seats. Let's see. Let's see, this will go down, up, down, up. Perfect. All right, here's your seat. I'll tell you what, even though this side is running boards, it's kind of tall. For an old man like me. There's some scratches here on the center console. They're not too bad. And gosh, if this thing were in perfect condition, we'd be way into the high 20s, even on a salvage title. The miles of this thing are killer. <laughs> but you're gonna save a fortune on this truck just dealing with some minor cosmetic issues. And that one, there we go. All right, let's see. Let's try this mirror, make sure it works. That works. Let's see, let's turn it to this side. That works. Okay, we've gone through all that stuff. Put the seatbelt on. Air conditioning. Make sure it gets cold. This is I-97.5 music. There's the radio working. Well, let's make sure that the... Steering controls work. See the fan... Fan controls work. 
temperature that works okay so all these controls work cruise control you'd have to be driving on the highway to check that out there's pedals adjustable pedals there's that let's see got it. they haven't even taken the wrapper off of this deal so I don't think it's ever towed usually they take the wrapper off there there's all that stuff that's still got the little sticker when you're when it's brand new all right, let's see. Information, 20,490 miles. Let me roll this window up so it hear me a little bit better. That's the whole cluster there. And it's just been back from pictures, which is a trip down I-10, so this thing's been running for probably a good hour, hour and a half. Tow haul on and off. Put it into reverse, uh, into neutral, put it into low. Let's see. There's four wheel drive. That's a drive. In reverse. That's definitely four wheel drive. Four high. Drive. Yes. In reverse. Okay, that's that. Let's get the rear. There's that. I'm gonna back all the way up. Let's see if the parking sensors work or not. They're like the most likely thing to not work. There they go. Parking sensors work. Let me put it. Let me see. Let me put it into. Okay. Being sold on a salvage title. So if uh, you come to Tucson and want to drive it home, we have to get a, a restored salvage title. It means we take it down to motor vehicles. We charge $200 for that. Uh, they inspect it. We take the title and the inspection down and get what's called a restored salvage title. At that point, you can get insurance and we can issue temporary plates. Without it, you cannot go anywhere. So that's mandatory if you want to come to Tucson and drive it home. Um, or if you're an Arizona resident, it's mandatory. Um, that's $200. If you come here, you're also going to pay dock fee of $250, and you're going to pay taxes. Taxes are 2% city tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is zero, like Alaska or Montana, uh, all you're going to pay is 2% total. Um, wow, this runs good. Even though it's lifted, it's pretty tight steering, too. I mean, usually when you lift them like this, they wander all over the place, but this thing's pretty tight, of course, with 20,000 miles, you would expect that. Anyhow, so if you come here, uh, $250 dog fee, state tax plus 2%, and uh, a restore fee of $200. Um, if you want to ship it out of state and pay by wire, it's the agreed upon price, uh, is all you're going to pay, unless you want us to restore the title before it leaves, um, that'll be $200 added to it. Uh, if you don't want us to restore the title, please make sure that in your state, uh, if you present your local motor vehicle inspection place with uh, Arizona salvage title, uh, our bill of sale, and the truck, that you can get your inspection done successfully. Uh, once it's been shipped, you know, a thousand miles away, it's pretty brutal uh, having it shipped back here to get it inspected. So uh, just make sure you do your homework and get first and last names of the knuckleheads who tell you give you wrong information so you have somebody to strangle. <laughs> I've had that happen before. Oh, I don't need an inspection. And then it goes there and they want all kinds of paperwork. All you're getting is a bill of sale, a salvage title, and the truck itself. That's it. All right? Anyway, this is a nice truck. I mean, it's got some cosmetic issues, but uh, from a uh, performance standpoint, there's the turbo. I don't know what this guy's gonna do, so I don't wanna go too fast here. Kill somebody, namely myself. Nice truck. 